goal defense, and that says a lot. Here comes McCready. Oh, he just shook the gravity right out of the building. What a play by T-Man. You don't see this kind of energy and passion. It's playoff time. When you're playing at home. Oh, McCready just oh. blew past Robinson and then slashed to the rack. Are you kidding me? LeBron says, wait a minute. How many guys are like this? Here comes McGrady. No timeout for Randy. McGrady for the win. Yes! Tracy McGrady with an incredible performance down the stretch. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Kyle Snagger back with another video and today we got part one of the Tracy McGrady journey. Now this is the third journey series that we are doing. Currently we are in the process of doing the Ron Artez journey, the Kevin Garnett journey and now the Tracy McGrady journey. Uh, this one was actually requested by somebody on my build video a while back on this two-way threat build video uh, who was saying that it wasn't really a Ron Artez build but it could be more of a Tracy McGrady build so I was like hey might as well do a Tracy McGrady journey as well and on the Ron Artest video y'all did request that I do this one next so we got part one of this journey man Tracy McGrady is one of the best scores that he that we have ever seen in the NBA and we will be showcasing that in today's video the shots we're hitting are absolutely crazy I'm really showcasing how much better I'm getting at this video game man my shooting was a little inconsistent because like i said in the last video i am back on a tv after having played a week and a half on a monitor so my percentages were a little down but the shots that we hit in this video are absolutely crazy and they do commemorate tracy mcgrady's play style really really well so without further ado man i appreciate all the love we've gotten on the youtube videos and the streams grab a popcorn grab some snacks man and let's get right into it so getting into the gameplay as y'all see it is raptors team mac man that was the first team that tracy mcgrady played on and we are playing with vince carter now not only is vince carter a great player and future hall of famer but he's also Tracy McGrady's cousin, which is really, really cool. Now, let's talk a bit about Tracy McGrady. He got drafted ninth overall in the 1997 NBA draft out of Mount Zion Christian Academy in Durham, North Carolina. Now, he got drafted out of high school, and it was normal for bigs to be drafted out of high school, but he was one of the first guards to be drafted out of high school. Uh, him, alongside Kobe Bryant and a couple others, made the step from high school to the NBA, but Tracy McGrady had a pretty slow start to his NBA career. He got drafted in a relatively new franchise, the Toronto Raptors, who... Um, started playing in 1995 he got drafted in 1997 and in his first year in the league he averaged only seven points four rebounds and 1.5 assists on 46 percent shooting from the field now although these numbers aren't the greatest um they certainly aren't the worst numbers either especially for an 18 year old coming out of high school y'all gotta realize the dude is 18 years old he's the age of most high school seniors today and it is rare that you see people this young play in the nba now but you definitely saw the potential in t-mac i mean he was 6 8 and 210 pounds in his second year he got a little bit better his averages went from 7 and 4 to 9 and roughly 6 rebounds and 2.3 assists with a steal and a block so not only was his offensive potential showing but his defensive potential was also very much there now the first time he actually started shining with the toronto raptors was in his third year where he averaged 15.4 points 6.3 rebounds 3.3 assists a block uh, no one steal and almost two blocks actually he averaged 1.9 blocks per game so as i'll see a great two-way player in his second year and that was actually the first time that the toronto raptors went to the playoffs but unfortunately they did lose in the first round and after this tracy mcgrady left now the reason tracy mcgrady left was although he had a great bond with his cousin vince carter Tracy McGrady wanted to have his own team uh, so after he decided to sign with the Orlando Magic in free agency and team up with Grant Hill uh, he wanted to go back home and he wanted to have a team of his own 
because he felt like he was a little bit in the shadow of Vince Carter. Now, he did say in some podcasts that he ended up regretting this decision, especially after the Raptors went to the second round the year after and took the Philadelphia 76ers, who went to the finals that year and got beaten by the Lakers in five to seven games in the second round. And not only did they take them to seven games, but it came down to the last shot, which Vince Carter did end up missing, which was very, very unfortunate. And T-Mac feels that they would have made a good finals push if he were to be on that team and maybe even brought home a championship for the Raptors. Now, us Raptors fans, we're not too sad about this anymore because we did win a championship recently, but it would have been fun to see Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady both get championships as they both have never gotten one. Matter of fact, Tracy McGrady in his prime didn't even get past the first round. He was pretty damn unlucky when it came to playoff success. But his time with the Raptors was still full of highlights and excitement despite him leaving early. Now getting into the gameplay. Tracy McGrady is one of the best scores that we have ever seen. Listed at 6'8", 210 pounds. He had the perfect frame, but not only that... As Kobe Bryant said in an interview, he had all the tools, man. He had the athleticism, the skill set, the range, the whole package, man. He was a true, pure scorer. And we will talk about uh, a bit more about his stats, you know, his better years in the Orlando Magic episode. But he did end up winning a scoring title. Uh, actually, two scoring, two scoring titles, I believe, um, with the Orlando Magic. But like I said, we will be talking about that. Uh, later now Tracy McGrady like I said had the full package man he could drive he could create his own shot and that is why we put on the pull up precision shot creating takeover man as I'll see I'm hitting some ridiculous spin and hop fades in this gameplay and um, we also put on the contact finisher now y'all saw a lot of great highlights in the last few games This is going to be a full gameplay. I went on a little streak with my boy Andre shout out to him That's my boy man. He just got 2k and he's actually pretty damn solid. So shout out to my boy We did go on a little streak. I think it was a nine game streak um, And he didn't have any badges. So uh, he honestly held his own right here cooking up man this man's defense was very very hard to break down because he kind of sags off of me and i don't like when people play like that when they play like in between the paint and the three-point line so you know they can always recover for the three-pointer but then again if you drive then they'll be right by you um and he was playing great defense my boy andre does get a full bar and we will be back on defense but the shots that we were hitting with tracy mcgrady are just insane and very representative of tracy mcgrady's career he would hit some ridiculous shots and when he took it to the rim he was flying man he would take it to the rim strong and dunk on just about anyone man honestly one of the most exciting players he honestly had the same talent level as guys such as mj and kobe but he did have injuries like i said we'll talk about his later career in the next two episodes but if he didn't have these injuries man he probably would have been one of the all-time greats now he is an all-time great he is a hall of famer but y'all know what I mean, man. Probably a couple championships, maybe an MVP, something like that, man. He definitely had that type of talent. I mean, if Kobe Bryant says that you're the hardest guy he's ever faced, you know you're something serious, man. You know you're something serious, especially coming from a guy like Kobe. Now, right here, I do take the wide open shot, and I do miss. They do come down with a big rebound, man. Andre was playing a center, so, you know, it was kind of hard to guard him. But right here, Andre does come down with it, and I'm finna go cook up. Now, we will upload a Signature Styles video soon man i think i'm gonna do it tomorrow so tuesday or wednesday we will try and upload three this week i just uploaded four four days in a row man consistent snagger is back y'all know the fucking vibes right here i'm trying to cook up as y'all see man he's kind of playing the shot but he's also playing the paint but i do get a little blow by and hit him with the front clutch reverse smooth little dunk right there right here we are gonna cook up step it back step it back go to the fade don't manage to fucking knock it down man that's what i'm saying the monitor to tv transition was really really hard especially with my fade timings the jump shot timing i got down pretty easily it's a lot faster but the fades uh are a little bit harder to time 
uh well to adjust back to you know what i'm saying right here he does get a nice green jumper i do get the contest right here man big defensive stop great help from myself andre kicks it out y'all know what color that is man pow chicken y'all know it man big shout out to the boy andre man he was really playing very very well I will be doing some daily streams for the rest of this week, so do go follow me on Twitch if y'all want to see more of the Tracy McGrady build. Going absolutely crazy! Look at that, man. Cold-blooded. Playing a comp team. He has lock take, but I'm not scared to take the spin fade, man. That'll wrap up the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe if y'all have enjoyed, man. Go follow my Twitch. And as always, peace! Let's get it. Me and Daddy Snag is playing 2K. He pull up how chicken hit the off with the wave. Today I saw Snag is streaming with followers. He showed loves and he runs game with all of us. It's preposterous if you stay in these stream it's better. Then we pull up, knock you off your west street to your respect us. Now you know ain't nobody touching us.